We're in today with the HD 3870. This is a 2007 video card with 512 megabytes of VRAM GDDR4. It's got 320 shaders running at 776 megahertz on the core clock, 1125 megahertz on the memory clock, 256 bits bus width. And today we're going to pair it up with this i7 4790 with four cores and uh, eight threads. Very interesting video card. This video card, I want to compare it with the same games that I played the, with the HD 3070 dual core x2 and i want to see uh, how it's performing because that video card had one core broken and i was like is one core broken similar with this video card and I, this is it seriously this is what i wanted to see i will jump in the same games same uh, setup and see how it's uh, performing let's go all right let's start with battlefield on 720p it was uh, on this resolution and i had uh, lowest quality everybody's jumping now in battlefield 6 and you're like i'm gonna play battlefield 3. no it's a good game there's lots of people same mechanics i think it's cheaper you know to play this i'm actually curious how much you got 495 and 496 megabytes of vram allocation and 430 process this is not bad this is actually Actually good performance from the video card all right let's jump into a fight i want to see how it's holding when you're uh, on the map i got maximum code load here with this vram is good in this case with 51 degrees 50 51 degrees with this video card i actually thought it would be a hot mess if i compared this to other video cards but no it's holding okay seriously it's holding okay in the situation i got nice temperature maximum vram allocation not gonna lie i had nearly the same performance so i'm actually surprised that it stays around the same art seriously 38 fps i had with the previous video card 3870 x2 but with only one core so with this apparently it's doing the same thing 35 fps in a game like this with this type of video card uh, considering it's online i was saying it's almost there seriously not gonna lie not the ideal situation because i can get like 20 dollars video card and uh, i can do a much better job the question is is it better or is it no it's almost the same thing seriously in, if you play a little more the game you is you're gonna average a little more fps so i got like 38 fps on average with the 3070 x2 and uh, with this one i'm gonna average over 40 fps you know in some situation you see you got like uh, 50 fps and maybe it's gonna do much better on the average side but to me in my books it feels the same seriously like 40 fps it's both of the video cards this is a very interesting question to put for this video card does it run crisis i think the best thing i can do is just replicate the things i had done uh, last time i had 720 p with lowest quality and then we can go in another direction if i'm interested on seeing this video card running so i got uh, previously with uh, that video card with around 70 fps 80 or something like that seeing this with this video card it's kind of good because it shows me that there is a chance on actually playing with higher performance games with this video card because it's apparently it's better than that video card seriously i still have the problem that i had uh, with that video card cpu wise i'm a little i think it's a single core problem here bottleneck in order to get uh, the right uh, performance i think you have to be with a higher frequency cpu but it's funny because i got 3.9 nearly 4000 megahertz on this uh, cpu we got 4000 and still doesn't do the job but i got look at that 140 fps so this is actually a good performance from this uh, gpu in this situation so if i'm averaging this amount of uh, fps i'm not gonna say nothing because it's actually a good number that i get from this video card nice averages in explosion good minimals allocation it's not too much uh, nearly 400 megabytes and barely above uh, 300 megabytes of uh, vram process this is actually funny to see this uh, game running like this on 1080p now i got like 80 per fps here with this uh, oh, look at that 70 fps but the true the true problem shows up so the gpu is on maximum load now with uh, the cpu i've seen 70 percent load on the cpu look at that 70 60 70 percent load on the cpu oh, what the heck is going on that's a lot look at this 69 percent load 77 percent load on the cpu so the cpu is bananas if i can maintain this fps with that low quality in in this case it's good i think you can go with lower resolution and maximum details if you're interested but it all depends on you if you want to um, max out this game with this uh, configuration let's jump into team fortress and see how it's running with this game uh, on uh, 1080p we 
it uh, lowest quality. It's gonna be very interesting because I don't have problems with the GPU. What the heck? I have problems with the GPU. This is how you have to play this game with hundreds of FPS. I got a very interesting combination from this video card. In this case, 400 megabytes allocated and 398 process. So the video card is good. Wattage is good in this case, but I'm only 90% loaded. So not very ideal in this case. Previous uh, video card uh, 3070X2 had 130 FPS. With this one, I got much better in this case. So having uh, 160, 170, it's kind of good. 178 on average. Managed to average really nice here. 175 FPS is kind of good for this. Not gonna lie, I wish I had uh, more, but uh, yeah. The only thing I can do here with this amount of FPS is to load it up, uh, go on higher quality because you can actually see it's holding pretty well. So in a situation like this, it's not bad with this. Seriously, I'm in a good position with the video card and I think it's possible to actually play the game. I put the game on uh, 1080p with uh, same condition that I had before with that uh, video card and it does a fantastic job. Yeah, seriously, look at it, 70 FPS. I think I had 60. Call of Duty had 60 FPS. I'm gonna play this game. Apparently I got more FPS, 20 more, 20 FPS more than that uh, single core uh, GPU. I think it's under clock that dual BGA uh, video card per core. I can't believe the video card is being utilized here. I got 99% load in this case. I got uh, 486 megabytes of VRAM allocated. The performance is spot on allocation and process side. So a game like this, it's utilizing the video card properly. And this is the most awesome thing you can do for this. Works really nice. Average is really nice. Can't ask more from this. They want to bring a new Call of Duty. No problem. Uh, still play Modern Warfare 3 seriously with this. 79 FPS comparing it to 60 FPS with same settings, 1080p, like almost maximum details. This is good, seriously. Let's jump into Star Conflict in and see how it's running with this video card. Ooh, look at this. It's actually doing the job really nice here in this case with this video card. How much I got? 70 FPS. I got like 60 around 60 fps with 1080p and low quality compared to the previous one this is not a bad performance can i get another a number two a missile flare holy smoke is so good in this case with this video card that's it that was quick. In Dragon Age, when I tested 3070 with one single core, I had uh, almost 60 FPS, uh, around 60 FPS. But with 1080p and low quality here, you can see the game doesn't look bad. Got very interesting performance, but I got 60, 70 FPS, in some cases 80. Very good. In the city, I got like 60, 70. Look at that. Oh so awesome to see this video car running like this i'm actually surprised this is 1080p yeah so 1080p with an old video card like this i don't i cannot express my feelings seriously this is awesome so if you're interested on uh, building a retro machine and you say, well, I cannot find an Ultra, I cannot find the dual BGA video card, I cannot find some high-end expensive video card that, uh, well, I want to play the game with the appropriate video card because of the driver's compatibility with the OS and stuff, stuff like that, you know, here you can actually see the load is on the video card, not too much. 96% load but only 150 megabytes of VRAM utilized so the video card itself is got for 500 megabytes of VRAM so allocation and process side is not uh, very demanding so you, you have a lot of headroom here to lower the resolution and go with higher quality if you're interested it, it gives you the option this video card you know and on the price side this uh, video card is not very expensive comparing us with some legendary video card you know so this is an awesome performance in smokes and effects see it drops the fps but the average uh, if you walk around the map is still the the same thing you know so i think it's going to average around 70 in some situation I like it, you know, I like the performance this video card is offering here in this game with this resolution. Just a little uh, faster than uh, that 3870 with one single core. It's like disabling it. Very strange error, seriously. Very, very strange error. Well, I'll take it, you know, I'll take this as a big uh, win and uh, 
maybe in the future uh, I will see something similar compared to this uh, 37. Do you want uh, to have a video card like this in the machine? Do you recommend something like this? It's not bad, seriously. It's not bad. It's better than half of the video card. I forgot that I had to keep uh, medium quality with 1080p here. I forgot and uh, I have to keep it the same because it's the same performance. I had uh, higher utilization on the core last time I was with the, that 3870, but with this 3870, uh, I got only 50%, not a lot of uh, VRAM allocation. This is good, and uh, all in all, I can say it's adequate. So, 60 FPS in Vegas, good stuff. 50% uh, load on the core is not bad. And uh, yeah, if I want to play the game, this is how it needs to be. This is the most adequate performance I can ask from uh, a video card like this. I got a lot of options, uh, very interesting performance. So, all in all, not bad. 250 megabytes allocation and processed. So, all games, I think it's DirectX 9. The more you go in DirectX 11, DirectX 10, allocation versus process is going to be totally different but if you're in old title like this you can actually see it's it's not bad seriously allocation and uh, process and they are flat both of the same so you can disable it but it, just for practice i left it on so you can actually see how it looks temperature on the video card is good this is holding okay system side doesn't have any problems quality is good performance is good so i like the performance uh, this video card is uh, offering here in this case with this uh, gpu what i've done now i maxed out everything on the details i want to see how much uh, vram is gonna be utilized oh definitely it's utilizing the video card in this case holy smoke 28 fps i have to average this 27 fps in some situation is good definitely a lot of options for this video card to be utilized with uh, uh, more details you know so not very bad you know not very good at the same time the vram utilization is not that high to 370 and the 52 degrees with 68 percent fan speed i mean you can actually hear it he wants to throttle but uh, nevertheless in the right direction with this with the performance of this video card very important to test the stalker with this video card because this is uh, crossfire compatible sli compatible so it's an ideal game to see how this video card is performing so i had 120 fps i'm on static light with maximum details but that is the low quality of the game so if i'm interested on in getting more load on the video card you just put more uh, dynamic light or enhanced light or whatever and then you're gonna load up the whole thing but on static light it's like the low quality you know so i got a very interesting performance from this i want to see uh, if i walk around uh, I, i'm gonna average a little and see if i can get the same performance maybe i have problems with the cpu because i'm on 120 fps 110 12 15 look at that it's gonna average the same thing like that uh, video card not bad some see in some cases i got like 300 200 you know so 130 fps is not a bad performance from this if he's doing 130 then i can justify the whole thing you know so 30 70 with not with two cores with only one core in a, uh, enabled because the other one was not detected i got the same performance with this 3870 so very interesting 120 fps not a bad idea all right so I'll take this. I'll take this as a big win. I think it's gonna be very interesting test in the future with this. So do I like it? Yes, of course. 120 FPS is not bad. It's actually the same like the previous video card. And the core is maxed out. 300 megabytes of VRAM allocation, 55, 56 degrees. So it's all in the same balance like that video card. I'm actually surprised. If I remember correctly, I played uh, Minecraft with it on uh, 1080p with the lowest quality because, uh, you know, <laughs> Minecraft is, uh, is that game that actually works with uh, this type of uh, video card. If I'm uh, in a position like this, I will have Minecraft with this 1080p, lowest quality. It doesn't utilize the video card at maximum. You can actually see it's utilizing only 119 megabytes of VRAM. This is good. It doesn't have a lot of pre-render object in the front. The video card had 169 FPS on average. Same thing, seriously. 
same thing is got here i'll take the performance it's offered here because it's exactly what i need from this very interesting combination very interesting tests managed to answer my question is this 3870 better than half of the 3870 x2 and unfortunately yes this is a better video card than that uh, half uh, of the video card it shows me that in some games it's working really nice uh, it's working with more fps depending on the game some some of them they got like limited fps and you can maybe disable uh, 60 fps but uh, those are games that doesn't require more than uh, 60 fps like fallout or something like that in this situation i recommend a 3070 like this so if you're interested on playing the games with 1080p and low quality you manage to see i got high numbers now if you're not interested on a 3070 x2 that is a very legendary video card crossfire video card that can be an in the library as a collectible item or a very big mammoth relic that can do a lot of fps with older games it's a very ideal to have that video card in the pc because there's other video card more efficient than that one this video card is the solution they are not expensive they are everywhere not even let's say you don't want this uh, model this subventor but i think this is a dell variant but maybe you can find something else it's a good option if you go on the lower variant other models you know do remember you can crossfire them but uh, only if you have a good mainboard that supports it seriously i recommend for old operating system like this like this uh, windows 7 and uh, if you manage to enter this department that is already gaining a lot of traction you're gonna love it if you have any suggestion in the future for this video card or for the system make sure you leave a comment smash that like button and i will see you very soon